construction professional. Always keep in mind the following safety instructions. Avoid possible damage to your hearing by starting out with the volume control at the lowest setting. The safety switch is there to protect your hearing. Use it. Release the push button when you experience sudden loud noises. Do not press the safety switch push button while the sensor is in motion. Wait until the sensor is in place. Failure to follow the instructions may cause personal injury to the operator or damage to the equipment. First, let's start with the inside line on leaks. Leak sounds are created by three different situations. The vibration of the pipe caused by water forced through a crack in the pipe. This is the loudest and easiest leak to detect because it sounds like a whoosh or a hiss. Water forced through the crack and hitting the surrounding soil. This leak is quieter and is affected by the type of material around the pipe. If it's rock or gravel, a hammering or knocking sound may be heard. If it's loose soil, you may not hear anything at all. Water flowing through the soil cavity creates a gurgling sound, like a small stream or brook. Knowing the type of pipe is also helpful. Metal pipes transmit sounds at a higher frequency. In cast iron, copper, and steel pipes, you're most likely to hear leak sounds in the range of 500 hertz to 1500 hertz. In PVC pipe, leak sounds resonate in the range of 70 hertz to 850 hertz. Choosing the right combination of high-end and low-end filtering removes any extraneous noises. Push the high and low frequency buttons on the digital spectrum analyzer until the indicator lights are on those frequencies. The leak vibration travels down the length of the pipe as well. Leaks in cast iron pipe can be detected as much as five times farther away than in PVC pipe. Placing the probe directly on the pipe wall is beneficial in detecting leaks at greater distances. The pipe size, no matter what the material, affects the frequency and sound levels. Water leaks from larger pipes transmit less sound and at lower frequencies than smaller pipes. And of course, the deeper the pipe, the harder it is to find the leak. To find leaks in lines buried deeper than 8 feet, increase the water pressure to amplify the sound. The surface material also affects the amplification of leak noises. A hard surface like concrete will resonate with the sound of a leak for 5 to 10 feet around the water pipe, while grass and earth do not amplify leak noise. Select the proper sensor for the surface on which you're locating. To operate your Gen Ear, begin by plugging the headphones into the digital spectrum analyzer. Next, turn the power switch to the on position. The power light blinks when the batteries are low. Note, the system automatically shuts off when headphones are removed. Caution, the Gen Ear has a high level of audio output. To avoid possible damage to your hearing, always start with the volume control at the lowest setting. Then proceed slowly, adjusting upward for the maximum sound. Depress and hold the handle safety switch to listen to the sound from the sensors. This switch protects the operator from sudden loud noises by muting the sound when the button is released. Remember, do not press the push button while the sensor is in motion. But before you can locate a water leak, you've got to know what you're listening for. Here's a tip for beginners. Set up the Jenner with the probe sensor and probe bar. Touch the tip of the probe bar to the water line under a sink. Then barely turn on the faucet so the water is dribbling out. This simulates the sound of a leak. Turn the faucet on and off and try all frequency combinations until you hear the difference. The rest of leak location is a process of elimination. Assume you've got a leak if the water meter shows water flow, yet all the valves in the house are closed. Suspect older parts of the system. Check areas with a history of leaks. Examine any recent excavations. Now, let's do it for real. To conduct a water leak survey, start by setting the filters to 700 Hz low and 1500 Hz high. This is the most common leak sound frequency. 
Make direct contact with the probe sensor and the probe bar to all sink lines, hot water heater lines, hose bibs, hydrants, and main valves. This gives you a general location of the leak. If you hear the sound of a leak, check lines running in all directions from that point. The leak location is usually found between the loudest and second loudest survey locations. Now you can begin to narrow your search and isolate the leak. To accurately pinpoint the leak, you must have an accurate location of the pipeline. You can locate the route of the water line by using General's Geni pipe locator and transmitter. Attach the red transmitter lead to the metal pipe and the black lead to the ground stake. Place the ground stake at least three feet away from the pipe. Press the power button on the transmitter three times so that the pipe location indicator flashes. If it does not flash, you do not have a good circuit. Recheck the connections. Turn on the locator and set the frequency to pipe location mode. Make sure the blade is perpendicular to the ground and across the pipe rather than in line. Move the locator side to side and look for the maximum signal. Mark the pipe location. Continue locating, marking pipe location every three to five feet within the leak survey area. To begin water leak location, attach either the ground sensor or the probe sensor, depending upon the surface on which you are locating. Again, the ground sensor is used when locating water leaks through hard surfaces, and the probe sensor is used for leaks under soft surfaces. Then walk the line, taking a reading every three or four feet. Follow the flow of the water line and note each reading. Do not adjust the volume control. The volume must remain constant in order to make accurate comparisons. When you're close to the leak, you may be able to determine its location with your hearing alone. If you can't rely on your ears, use the LED display on the digital spectrum analyzer to locate the strongest signal in the area. Pinpoint the leak by moving the sensor directly over the water line in one foot increments. As you get closer to the leak, the sound will increase in the headphones and register on the LED meter indicator. Once the leak has been pinpointed, mark its location. You should be within one foot of the leak. If the leak sound isn't loud enough for positive location or outside noise is interfering, use the optional sound amplification manifold or SAM. It adds air to the water line, which increases the leak pressure thus increasing the leak sound. This makes it easier to pinpoint even the quietest leak. Attach one end of the hose to a nearby hose bib and the other to the outlet of the SAM. Then open the hose bib valve. The gauge will indicate the water pressure. Then attach the air compressor to the inlet of the SAM. Adjust the air compressor so that the pressure is no more than 10 to 15 PSI above the water pressure. Warning, when using the SAM, do not let air pressure exceed water pressure by more than 10 to 15 PSI or toilet float valves, hot water tanks and faucet valves could be damaged. To be safe, shut off all fixture and water heater valves. Turn the compressor on and open the air valve on the SAM. This will amplify the leak noise during the leak location process. Once you've pinpointed the leak and marked its location, double check your mark by turning off the air valve on the SAM while listening to the marked area. If you're in the right place, the leak sound should dissipate. This assures that you've found the leak, not some other outside noise. 